Hello students, in this video we'll discuss linear transformations on Euclidean spaces and their connection with matrices. We say that a mapping T going from Rn, taking an n-dimensional point Euclidean space, to n-dimensional Euclidean space is a linear transformation If two things are true, if condition one is that t of x plus y is equal to t of x plus t of y for all vectors x and y, for all x, y, n, r, n, okay? In other words, if you add two vectors in Rn and then operate by this mapping, the mapping will just add those individual vectors themselves together at the end of the day. And two, t of lambda x is equal to lambda t of x for all lambda and r, all scaling factors lambda, and x and Rn. Okay. In other words, these two properties together tell me that T respects the vector space structure on Rn, right? In other words, this respects, T respects addition and scaling. And these are the vector space operations on Euclidean space. Okay, excellent. And now our, the result we'd like to focus on is that we already have a class of, of things we know correspond to their transformations. And so if I'm given, so given A and M by N matrix, define T sub A of X to be AX then TA is a linear transformation, then TA is a linear transformation from Rn to Rm. Okay, let's see why. So the proof is straightforward. The proof of this fact, we call this a proposition. And so here's the proof of that proposition, okay? So if I have x and y in R, Rn, and lambda real, then what can I say about Ta, Ta of x plus y? Well, that's just A of x plus y, which is just A of x1 plus y1 all the way down to xn plus yn, and that's just x1 plus y1 in the direction of column A1, all the way down to xn plus yn in the direction of column An. And of course, we can just break this up as to x1 A1 plus xn An plus y1 A1 yn An, which is equal to Ax plus Ay, which is T A X plus T A Y. Great. And now the same thing is true for, so in other words, T satisfies the what? T satisfies this first condition over here. Beautiful. And then how does T satisfy the second condition? Similarly, so the exact same thing works. So similarly, T A of lambda X. What would happen over here? I should have all those lambdas, right? So in other words, forget about the y's and put a lambda in front of there, right? So this would be like a lambda x1, that'd be like a lambda xn. Well, what I can do is I can pull that, there's a common factor of lambda through all these things, I can pull that lambda out, so it's gonna be lambda x1 a1 plus all the way down to xn an, which is lambda ax, which is lambda lambda times ta of x. And that satisfies the second property. So every matrix gives rise to a corresponding linear operator. And now the beautiful thing is that something else, it, we get the exact reverse inclusion as well, right? So also, proposition 
if T is linear mapping, linear transformation, then what I can do is the following. Then T of x1 e1 hat, where that's the standard basis, plus xn en hat by linearity has to be equal to x1 of t e1 hat plus xn t of en hat, right? By, linear, by this condition just by induction. Okay, well that's great because now what this says is this says that if I construct a matrix A, so I construct a matrix A that corresponds to T being what? Being T of E1 hat in the first column, T of E n hat in the last column, then if this is on my definition of A, if I define A in this way, so define A, define AT in this way, then if we define AT in this way, what can we say? We can say that then this implies that this will be equal to what? This is exactly equal to AT of X. So in other words, for every matrix A, there exists a linear transformation TA, and for every linear transformation T, there exists a matrix TA. So the linear transformations from RN to RM and the matrices that are M by N are in one to one correspondence with one another. So we oftentimes say that this is the matrix that is corresponding to the transformation or the transformation that corresponds to the matrix. So in either case, if we use different lingo for transformations or matrices, it's always inferred that we're either referring to the matrix or the, tra or the transformation. So it'll be clear from the context of the problem. Thank you very much.